Um, okay. I mean, if you want to, like, stay and watch, then that's totally a fine, too. But if not, then... Because I can show it to you like this, but if you don't want to, then that's okay. Right. Let me just get myself situated. No, it's okay. Well, I'm live now. Well, so I'm just... comfortable. Right, right. Okay. Put your phone right here, because that won't interfere with anything. And then I can pick you up when people get here. Okay. Yeah. Do I need to just need to keep continuing to hold mine? Yeah, I mean, uh, when I go to say, like, here's my mom sort of thing, then I can put your screen up to this screen so they can see you. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Hi, ladies. Hi, Leanne. So, as you guys probably saw, I know that people are still coming in, but if you guys read the um, announcement post, I'll be talking about my mom today. From you know, she said she wants you guys to know because you're part of our wig family, and she's here on the phone with me, like video chatting, so you guys will be able to see her. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Luann. Hi, Teresa. I look beautiful. Thank you. All right. So we're just gonna wait for a little bit to come on, and then I will start, and then we're all good. Hi, Jan. So you can turn you around. So I know you're not going to be able to see anything, but when I go ahead, they'll be able to see you. So there's, uh -huh. so they can see you. Try and hold you. That's a weird noise. Yeah, she's straight. There she is. There's Tammy. Sharon says, hi, Allison and Tammy and Shirley and all the gang. Hi, Sharon. Mary Jane hello. says, hello. Martha says, hello, lovely. Hello, Martha. Hi, Mary Jane. So here's my mom. She wanted to say hi to you guys. Shirley okay. says, hi, Tammy. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, yes. Oh, okay. So uh, let's see. Shirley said, hi, Tammy. Marlene says, hi, Allison and Tammy. Martha says, hello, Tammy. Luann says, hi, Tammy. Jan says, hi, Tammy. Robin says, hello. <laughs> hello. Maureen says, hi, Tammy. All right, so I, do you want to tell them or do you want me to do it? Well, you can start off with it. Okay, so uh, Sherry says, hi, Tammy and Allison. You look good. Thank you, Jan. Uh, Dean says, many prayers, Tammy. God bless. Leanne says, hi, Tammy. Margaret says, hi, Tammy and Allison. Hi, Margaret. Sandra says, hi, Tammy. All right, so I will just kind of give a recap of what's all happened. So basically, my mom had chest pain. And then she ended up having a, a cardiac stress test and failed it. And then she ended up having to have a cardiac catheterization to see what was going on. And then she failed that also and got told that she was going to have to have open heart surgery. So then from that point on, she had that done. It ended up being a quadruple bypass. And then so now she came home and then she had to leave and go back to the hospital. I called the ambulance for her because she was having a case of AFib, which is where your heart is beating erratically, it's not pumping like it should, can throw clots, cause a stroke, that sort of thing. So she went there and she was also telling them about pain that she had on her side right here. And they ended up doing an x-ray and a CT and an MRI too, because it just continued to needing to have more information. And the issue here was that uh, they saw that she broke her back and three, three vertebra were broken. And so they were also seeing something called a lytic lesion on her spine in, in like all over her spine and on her hip. So basically what that meant was that they needed to test even further because a lytic lesion is usually related to cancer. So they ended up doing more sorts of testing and whatnot, like blood cells. She ended up getting a blood transfusion because she was so anemic. Um, she had an extremely high white blood cell count, and they ended up seeing something that was called a free light chain, specifically a kappa, which tends to relate to a specific kind of cancer. So at this point, their belief is that she has something called multiple myeloma, but specifically, um, even more so, the rare aggressive form of it called um, plasma cell leukemia. So they will be treating her for cancer once she gets her bone biopsy, her bone marrow biopsy back, because that will lead them to it along with the PET scan that she's getting next week. Her oncologist strongly believes that that's what's happening at this point, and that's what they've been telling us. 
And that's why I said I couldn't really share until then because I needed her approval, but also to tell you guys what's going on. And I'm essentially acting as her medical like liaison, um, inter like interfacing with the hospital and her and everything else. So everyone is saying prayers and hugs sent your way. Feel better soon. Thank you, Wendy. Gail shared. Thank you, Gail. Maria says, oh my, how can that happen? I'll get to that in just a second. Martha says, oh my word, Tammy, God bless you. Gail says, prayers continue for Cam Tammy. Anne says, sending love and healing thoughts. We're all here for you. Judy says, prayers for healing. Martha says, so much love for you all. So how can this happen? This is usually, a it's an issue with your bone marrow. So your bone, mar bone marrow starts making um, incorrect plasma cells and it just kind of continues for years. It's pretty, she's probably had it for a while. This kind of cancer is not curable, so it within itself is a terminal illness, but they um, can do stuff like stem cell therapy to help her live longer. Um, that's, that's what's going on. So, uh, Shirley says that you'll be in all of her prayer groups. Judy says you are her health directive, prayers for all, yeah. Praying for you, says Margaret. Prayers for Tammy. Keep us updated, says Mary Jane. God bless both of you, says Sherry. Tammy, just know we're all pulling for you and sending healing vibes to you, says Maria. Karen says, so glad that they are being aggressive in your treatment. Uh, you're in good hands. Praying for your speedy recovery. Praying, says Amanda. It can be put, it can't be put in, it can be put into remission where they don't see it, but it itself can't be they can't go away 100 yeah. percent. it can't be cured because it's in her bone marrow and if you kill all of the bone marrow off with say chemo and radiation like you would address a normal cancer um it she won't get any more back essentially uh dominica says prayers yeah. and hugs for tammy and allison we love you tammy says sharon Alian says my dad has oh yep there you go the m gus there we go which is a precursor of multiple myeloma he's followed at mayo clinic if you need any leads for further care i'll probably reach out to you leanne um because yeah m gus is the very first start of this so she's probably been living with it forever and just didn't know i actually have to get tested for it afterwards because people who are the first term relatives of somebody with multiple myeloma um probably have it uh, Pat says, Ben, sending much love and prayers. Cindy says, God is in control, praying for both of you. Kat says, praying for you. Gianna says, love and prayers. Leanne says, please do. I will, Leanne. Yeah. Anne says, sending prayers. So if you want to say anything to them specifically, go ahead. Get some glare there. I appreciate everybody sending their love and prayers and support. I guess I never realized that one, one person could have so much, and I do appreciate it. Yeah. I know everybody in the house is, you know, having a struggle with this, and it, it helps them to know that other people are, you know, in spirit, if nothing else, with us. Yeah, no, I appreciate every single one of you that says anything and reaches out to me or reaches out to her, definitely. Martha says, so if you hadn't failed the stress test, you might not have known any of this. Probably, yeah. Praise for you both, says Sheila. Love and prayers, says Dawn. Vicky says, lifting you up in prayer. And she also says, God bless. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, I don't know how much longer I would have been able to take the... The pain. The back, because I was really... It was really... It's hard living with it for, you know, September, October, November, December, January, for almost six months, chewing... Motrin and Tylenol the whole, all the time. Yeah. I would have probably had a, 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 you know, stomach ulcer before then. Yeah. Brenda says, may God enfold you in his arms and bring strength and comfort. Love you and Allison. Love you too, Brenda. Uh, sending lots of hugs and prayers, says, I love it moved. Charlene. Uh, Shirley says, Tammy, you are surrounded by love and prayers. Your job is to fight as hard as you can. We are here for you. It's like, amen, right? Yes, Laura says, praying right. hard, sending love. Christine says, sending healing prayers. And Phelan says, praying for you, Tammy. Get well soon. Thank you very much. Yes. And I promise I, it won't it won't stay like, Tam, my mom is going to come back and then she'll do this with us and we'll all have more time still to do this, which you know she definitely wants to and she just wants to come back right home. On. yeah so 
Yeah. So, did a nurse come in? Yeah, the nurses are coming in to give reports. Okay. Uh, Haley says prayers and healing. Solitaire says amen. Sending healing prayers, seeing you enfolded in God's light. Martha says, as a nurse, it is always the hardest to be patient or to be a patient. Allow yourself to relax in the knowledge you're in the best of care. Bonnie says, sending prayers. Shirley says, Tammy, I got you covered on hair. <laughs> right? Uh, Sharon says, we've got lots of wig parties to go to. Absolutely. That's what I keep saying. Like, there's so much more that she says. She's a very strong lady. Uh, like, like this whole group of women have even said that, but just knowing you and your personality through the, I mean, I know personally, but through the screen, they've been able to tell that you have a very strong personality and that you'll be able to, you'll be able to pull through anything. And I've got, you've got, I've got, I, I hope so. I've got your back too. So there's that. Right. So, um, hope your mom is feeling better, says Donna. Big prayers coming to me from North Carolina, says Leslie. All right, ladies. So, um, do I need to let you go now, or no? They walked in and walked out. Oh, okay. All right. Just making sure they don't aren't needing to like take more blood from you because no, they take they blood from her every day. My history all over. Which the nurse I had last night is in, is the same one okay. tonight, so nothing different. Okay. Well, do you want to stay on and watch this, or do you want me to? Well, I think I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom and do a few things. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. You don't need I'll to stay on for that. If you want to call back and watch, then we can. Um, Shirley said I could bring wigs to you to the uh, hospital, and we could do try and do a live if the Wi-Fi will allow, or I could just do right. pictures if you are up for that. So, yeah, something well, entertaining. Let's we'll for another week, and then we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean these wigs in particular. You like the Beltrust yeah. Lux ones, so that's why I was saying. Right. So. Right on. Luann says prayers and optimism. Deborah says hello, everyone. And Missy says hugs to you both. Thank you, Missy and Luann. And Deborah says hello, Mom. Hello. All right. So, so can I just leave, like, my phone on and it'll just play? Oh, yes. If you, you mean, because you want to you wanna watch. my picture being in there? If you put it down, yeah, like, face down. If you put it, like, face down, then, yeah, when, while you go to the bathroom, are you saying you want to watch the live? From the no, phone? I can watch it. I just want to know what to do with the phone in the meantime. Oh, we'll just, just leave it out here on the desk? Yeah, no, that's fine. You can just put I it down. It. Okay. Yeah, right. and I'll turn it around so that you can see. Yeah, my mom. Okay. There. All so right. my mom's going to be right, right over go. here, and she's going to watch the live, too. So she's All she's right. here in spirit. <laughs> so here we go. Yeah. Back back to everything. Okay. T uh, Tammy, many prayers to you and your family. Such a hard thing for you all to go through. Yeah, it, it's been difficult. Um. Like, like I said, I'm like her medical like liaison or her uh, medical person they reach out to. And so I've been dealing with all of it and trying to quickly learn about everything. And that it's within itself has been difficult. But I, not being an oncologist, I do understand it somewhat to a degree at this point. So, um, hi, Linda. So I am going to just kind of leave all of that there. Um, if you come on late or if you have more questions, we can maybe do questions at the end. But for right now, if you want to see or hear about anything else, um, just the replay for that information. And that's what I'm going to be telling everyone from this point on because I'm going to do the wigs now. So try and keep it together. Here we go. Great. Glad you can stay on. I can't imagine the stress and overwhelm. It's also really boring is, yeah, we brought her like coloring pencils and coloring books because she's bored also. So we love you both, says Martha. Thank you, Leanne. And thank you, Martha. All right. So I'm going to start with this pretty lady right here. This is one that everyone is aware of. This is the Lux Beltrus Lauren, and this is in the uh, Burnt Biscuit. So this is just something I've been in recently. This one right here, I actually wore out and about to see how the fibers react in real time and in real life, and they're fantastic. I can still come through here. I wore it out, and there's no tangling. It's it's really quite great. You can continue messing with it just like this, and their fibers are such an upgrade. Uh, Linda says, sending a virtual hug to both of you. Thank you, Linda. Allison, you're doing an amazing job. You really are an incredible person, really. Oh, thank you so much, Leanne. Like, like honestly, thank you. Thank you. That's gorgeous on you. Thank you, Anne. This wig you're wearing is the best I've ever seen. You wear color and style. It's beautiful on you. Oh, thank you, Robin. 
goodness it's so gorgeous right martha it's so beautiful and i actually have like a silk hair tie because i was messing with it earlier to put it up when i had hair i would put it up in a low ponytail and i think that that's just super easy to just get it out of the way so i was playing with that all is going on and you look like you could walk into a movie set i'm just good at makeup that's that's really all i mean i'm stressed let me tell you because i was like holding the phone and my hand is like going like this and so the like the twitching or trem the tremor tremor if you will um but no i try and keep it together i tend to unfortunately um handle stress well high stress situations and then i i don't feel very good several days afterwards but that's that's here it goes shirley says fyi i'm not listing prices tonight we have many sales and that link is pinned all right shirley it looks so real at the hairline. Wow. Yeah, it really does. So I've got all of the new styles of Lux that everyone might want to see. There's only one repeat color. So there's a ton here. And I have all of the new city collection that the four new styles that came out. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you, Marlene, so, mu so much. I'm going to start with the new city collection first. And then I will go on to the uh, rest of the Lux. We would understand if you need to keep this short tonight. And also, okay, Martha. So here's the thing with how I work. So... Let me explain this and then I'll get onto it. So lace front that goes ear to ear, left sided lace part. This one is Milano from the City Collection and this is in the color Sienna Spice. Beautiful, unrooted, natural sort of strawberry blonde. This is a longer style. It's kind of like a beach wave and she's so pretty. But the way that I work is when things are stressful, I tend to overthink and overwhelm myself with them and then I in turn um need something to like escape but I don't drink I don't do drugs I don't smoke I don't do any of that I don't overeat because I can't I can't eat garbage food or like junk food because I'll get physically ill and so this is like my little escape from reality if you will it's just I can go to wig land for a little bit and just forget about what's happening right now and just kind of have fun with the wigs, if that makes sense. I hope it does. Uh, is the website up now? The website is up, but the app is down. Luann. Hi, Marlene. If I fall behind, please feel free to post what I should be posting, says Shirley. I love these wigs. Any older cancer survivors on here? Asks Deborah. Marlene says, you got it. Um, ooh, where'd that go? Linda says, wow, I can tell you enjoy these. Maybe we can just lose yourself on hair for a couple hours. That's my point. That's my plan. <laughs> I have this Milano in milkshake bond and I love it, says Donna. Donna, no, this is, it's a gorgeous style. I love the face framing fringe right here, the like long curtain bangs. And it's just so beachy and casual. And you can tell you can just dress up and also look like a movie star. Yes to escape, says Leanne. Wigland is the best, says Solitaire, right? <laughs> and the color's so beautiful on you. Thank you. We got you. Let's party, says Martha. Woo! I guess this is a good distraction for at least a little bit. That, yeah, that's, that's what it is. Uh, could I be breaking down and, like, really, like, getting upset? Yes. But I'm decided that up here, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that right now. Yeah. Haley says, stunning. Love her on you. Thank you, Haley. I do the same thing with stress yes let's jump into the escape right sharon definitely makes sense allison we love you wig parties thank you diane absolutely love sienna spice right shirley this is this is this is the color i mm -mm. i'm 66 and a cancer survivor says marlene i'm having gone through um do you mind me asking what kind marlene or what was your experience like that i know this is like a, a you have to type it out but Having gone through something like this with my mom, it's best to stay busy and keep your mind on other things, says Anne. Absolutely. That's kind of what I'm doing. Love this color, says Deborah. This color is beautiful on you, says Marlene. Thank you so much. Four-year cancer, breast cancer for survivors, says Karen, and AFib, 67, and a breast cancer survivor. Oh, Marlene, you had colon cancer. Oh, my goodness. Yes. I know that that's been on the rise, I think, recently from what I was reading. This one right here, ladies, is, this is Genova 
or Genova, depending on how you want to say it. And this is in the color Buttercream Blonde. She's unrooted. This is going to be their warmest blonde. However, I think it doesn't look as yellow um, on this longer piece as it did, in my opinion, on the um, shorter one. Lace front, the velvet ear tabs, left-sided lace part, open wefted and stretchy, extended velvet nape, and Velcro adjusters. That's the perfect color on you. Thank you, Sandra. You are fantastic at doing your makeup, girl. Gorgeous. Oh, thank you so much, Haley. Yeah, I was going to, at one point, do, like, where I put makeup on before a wig party, and we took, like, a poll to see if people wanted to watch that with, like, the Avon or the Unique uh, makeup that Shirley sells, but everyone's like, no, we just want wigs. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Genova is stunning, says Marlene. I agree. This is, so here is the lace front. Um, Shirley says, God bless to Marlene. She says it must have been really scary. Yeah, I, I know that there are a lot of different treatments for that one in particular. Including, I think, what's a, it's called an ostomy, where they like remove your colon or take pieces off, or maybe that's the hole. I can't remember. Um, I'd love You'd love a makeup night, Sharon. Oh, okay. Oh, Donna says that too. It would be beautiful for your face shape. Oh, that is beautiful. Thank you. It really is. It really, I love how this is reminds me of, there's a specific, there's one in the Lux it reminds me of too. I'll show it when I get there. You should do a makeup tutorial. I would love it, says Joan. Oh, okay. A viewer told me Genova looked like a longer version of Secret. I would agree with that, Marlene. Yes. And then there's one over here. What is that that I'm thinking of? One of, I, I'll get to it when I get to it. Where's a Lux one that's like that? Uh, Sandra, you'd love makeup too. And Margaret and Teresa. Oh, okay. I really like that one. I'm looking for a lob in right color for me. Beautiful on you, says Karen. Thank you. So there's oh, yes. I love my daughter. And this is. Everything's fantastic. No, I get up on my own. I'm good to get up on my own. I haven't fallen. Yeah, no, I've been getting up. Okay. The nurses are the nurses are yelling at her. Hi, Andy. Yes, makeup night would be fun, says Haley. All right, so now we've got, this is Torino. Torino in the coolest ash brown. Mom is getting sassy. Yes, just a little bit, Martha. When I gotta go, as long as it come directly right in, it's not a problem. Just for, if you have to ask for myself, I'm running. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Hello. Oh my goodness, there's more people coming in. Okay, I'll just put that over there for right now. All right. I'm just going to turn that down. Okay. All right. Yeah, mom's getting sassy. That's correct. Christine says the stress of a loved one having cancer is beyond, is beyond imagination. This is why I wear wigs now because my sister was diagnosed with breast cancer and the stress and shock to me caused me to lose my hair. Stay strong. Yep, absolutely, Christine. I actually have, you can see it right here. I tried to cover it up a little bit. I've got like a stress rash on my collarbone and it doesn't itch or anything. It just kind of popped up. And yeah, it's like, it's just kind of like red, just out of nowhere. So yeah. Yes. Hi, Andy. I don't, I don't remember if I said hi. That's Geneva right just now. Yes, the one before was Geneva. That's correct. Love yours and Shirley's lives. Oh, thank you, Deborah. I wore Torino today and had so many compliments on my hair. Yes, this, yes, this is, I was going to say when I first saw these stock pictures of it, I thought it was really close to Razor Cut Shag and then Trendsetter by um, uh, Raquel Welsh. But this one, I think is, I think this is, it's definitely different. It's way more flippy and I'm going to use the word like ethereal because that's what it feels like to me. It feels like you could have this hair and be like an angel or something. It has like these flips and I just really love the um, profile of it. It's so beautiful. Breast cancer, triple negative and 10 runs of chemo. Oh, wow, Deborah. My goodness. 
I'm so glad that you got better. Just got here. What's happening? Is that your mama here? It is Andy. And unfortunately, um, if you want to watch the replay, because I've kind of gone over that already, I don't want to keep bringing it up and we're just going to keep doing the wigs right now. Is your mom at the hospital where she works? No, Mary Jane. She works for the hospital. Um, so the chain of hospitals, yes, but this is a different location, if that makes sense. My husband passed from pancreatic cancer six months later, my hair thinned. Absolutely. I, yeah, I can understand that, Deborah. Stress can do some serious things. Be sure it doesn't turn into shingles, hun. Oh, yeah. No. Love those sassy flippies on this one. Right, Sharon? Hi, Sandra. Love it. I have it in raw sugar. Now I need a brunette. Yes, Marlene, this one. And the same as before, left-sided lace part and everything. And it's got an extended velvet nape and Velcro adjuster. Share it out. The, yes, you're right, Haley. Share out the live if you haven't already, ladies. Please and thank you. Thank you, Martha. Okay, I'm lost. Right in my wig was that, Shirley. This one here is Torino. And I have her in the coolest ash brown. And I'm not sure. I think you linked the other one, though. Alrighty. And then this one here is Modena. And this is in Mocha Maple Brown. Got those wig caps that just want to fly all over the place. I don't know if anyone else who does lives has that problem. <laughs> I will definitely watch the replay. Um, Andy says, hi. Hi. Yeah, I put you back up here because they were like yelling at you. Did they tell you not to get up? Is that what the deal is? Are you on are you on and fall like watch? Every time go to the bathroom. That you're on fall watch now? Apparently everybody on this floor must be a fall watch. I don't know. Oh. Oh. Yeah. This one, pay attention to because it has a lace front and a center part. This is the first of the city collection that has a center part. All the rest of them are left sided. This is open wefted. It is extended velvet nape and Velcro adjusters and the velvet ear tabs. The bell trust wigs are incredible. Right, Haley? Happy anniversary, Shirley, says Andy. Thank you for sharing, Dominica. Um, let's definitely watch. Okay, put her on. And I have, like I said, she's in the Mocha Maple Brown. Okay, then. <laughs> so here she has, she does have some length in the front here that can be trimmed if you like bangs in the front, but they are more like a long sided curtain bang. And then she's got where it's kind of like they're shattered curls where they go to start a curl and then they like break. That's why I call them shattered. And you come through here, you can see how nice that is. It is the same as before, very lightweight and density, definitely not heavy feeling at all. And the color on this is really quite pretty. I only had this one in a shorter piece before. And this is, and the longer piece is really so beautiful. You love center parts? Me too, Haley. I actually prefer them. Sh Thank you for sharing, Anne. I'm celebrating my two-year wig anniversary this month. Ooh, Martha, I want to know what your shopping list looks like. Because I know that's how you'll be celebrating. <laughs> that's how I would celebrate. So pretty. Bell trust never disappoints. Right, Christine? Ooh, I need this color too, says Marlene. You know, actually, now that I think about it, Martha, my wig anniversary is actually this month too. Like, I started wearing wigs. I'll have to go back and look at it. I, it is. I think it's like next week or something. I have. To, I will go look that up when I'm done with this because, honestly, Margaret says I love this color. Thank you for sharing, Sandra. Yes, I'm having fun. Not so nervous now. Oh, okay, Haley, that's good. So cute. Love that on you. Thank you, Deborah. Gorgeous color on you. Thank you, Haley. I love Modena in the dark brown, but I love this color. Yes. Here, the, I mean, you can see all those highlights, babe. Those would look stunning on you, Marlene. Alrighty. Still wig fasting? <laughs> Are you planning in advance, though? I, I would be. All right, so now we're going to go to the Lux, and I will show the inside of this cap, but for people who are watching, you all know that they're basically all the same. There are two that are different and I will show them and like point it out when I get there. But for the most part, all of the Lux have the exact same cap. It is a full monofilament. It goes 
ear to ear with the lace all the way around with the silicone ear tabs that are moldable. It is full hand tied. You can see there's my finger in there. I can even show you all of it like this. There is my fingers. Say so there is a little bit of this kind of wefting here where it's not quite, um, I wouldn't say it's wefting. Let me go through it just to make sure. Okay, so it is. There is about two lines of clothes, wef clothes wefted, like wefting on there. So it is 100% hand tied except for that little segment. There's a couple where there's more of that, which was what I was gonna point out. Need to go wig shopping, says Marlene. Absolutely. And these have the pull type adjusters and the extended lace nape. And this one here is, this is McQueen and this is in ginger ale blonde. I love the new Renee of, right, Martha? I love the new Renee of Paris. I was so sad I had to give them back. That Vero in Watermelon R, oh goodness. I also really liked Joss. Joss was super cute. Aaron, that's why you're doing that. I love Lauren, but she's pricey. Me too, says Marlene. I love that you gave up wigs for Lent. It's a good thing. I'm happy to support you, says Shirley. That's a, that's a lot coming from a wig retailer there, Martha. That's how you know that she's a godly woman. <laughs> My wig anniversary is August 22nd or 29th in 2021, says Donna. Yes, I don't remember. Maybe my mom could remember, but I don't really know. Do you remember, mom, when I started, wasn't it March? What, when we shaved your head? Yeah, when I when I had you shave my head for the first time after they told me that I like was gonna lose all my hair. Yeah, I'll have to. I think it was towards either the middle or the end of it for sure. I'm a what's it say? Shirley's a sweetheart. Absolutely, Martha McQueen is beautiful. Thank you. What you swearing about, Crystal? So here we are, beautiful all the way around. I've been watching Shirley and have been a customer for three and a half years, right, Maria? So I've been with, I've been watching Shirley since I started working with her, <laughs> but I've watched her every live, like honestly, every single time, 100%. Uh, let's see, Allison, have you told your hair story? I have. I can retell it if people would like to hear it. I can, I mean, you love the ginger ale blonde? Me too, Megan. This one, same as before, like I said. This one is 100% hand tied though. You can see there's my finger all the way in there. There's no wefting. This beautiful guy here is Hudson and this is in chocolate buttercream. So 100% hand tied all the way. So my hair loss story is kind of, let me just put it like this. It's kind of complicated, but I guess everyone's hair loss story is complicated, right? So mine kind of started off with the fact that ever since I was little, I've always kind of had like not so great hair, if that makes sense. Shirley says, you're, you're much sweeter than me. So basically I had not so great hair. It was really, so I was born with like super dark hair and then it went to like a toe head blonde which if you're not familiar with that term, it's, it essentially means platinum blonde, but like a natural one. And so um, basically, so this is really pretty. I love these blips. And the color translation on that is really quite beautiful. It's really stunning. I like how it like kind of goes whoop right off the shoulder. So it's like the fibers are protecting themselves from how they were instead of hanging straight down. No, it kind of reminds me of, let me see, where was I? Okay, like this one, but if it weren't straight, right? The same sort of length to this. Yeah, okay. So if you didn't like how this one right here is Genova, if you were to, you wanted it to flip out instead of being straight, the lengths on these are really similar, but the densities are a little higher on Genova. But yeah, so I lost my hair because I didn't have, I have celiac disease. I have multiple autoimmune disorders. Um, my husband shaved his head and then mine. There you go, Deborah. A supportive husband, absolutely. My mom shaved her head after I shaved mine. 
my and then my son wanted me to shave his head so i did <laughs> now you need hudson marlene right we've given me that extra level right martha absolutely oh i love hudson says julie pretty love it so pretty thank you i discovered shirley and al um uh, i discovered shirley and allison through marlene's reviews oh, okay great margaret i'm so glad so cute says martha i'm a hairdresser oh, okay cool deborah Hudson is gorgeous. What color is this? This is chocolate buttercream. Yes, chocolate buttercream. Beautiful, says Haley. Thank you. So basically, I have several autoimmune disorders. I've got, um, I have celiac disease. I have Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is where it attacks your thyroid. I then have um, psoriasis. Of course, alopecia, the kind I have is a scarring form that is also an autoimmune disorder. So once I lose the hair and it gets like scarred over, they, it doesn't grow back. And then um, there's something else. Oh, I have something called, it's either an acronym called Crest Syndrome, or it's referred to as limited scleroderma, which is um, where it attacks the outside of your body, like your skin and stuff, instead of your organs, because regular scleroderma goes after your organs and your internal stuff and it can kill you so um but yeah through all of that and my body being unable to absorb nutrients and then it attacking itself non-stop uh, my hair started falling out and that's how i lost it and so i do have as you can see a little bit that grows back but it's so little and there's like you can see how lacy and spotted it is where it really it just it grows back and then i shave it all off so here is the top on this one. This one here also has a little bit of that like closed wefting part on it, but you can see it is very good and it's on this net and then all up here is closed wefted. This one is Saint and this is in hazelnut syrup. All your wigs are beautiful, so real natural looking. Thank you, Carol. This is gorgeous. I don't think I've seen Hudson's before. Yeah, no, these are all the new ones, Leanne. I hadn't seen any of these either. I know I saw Shirley put on, I think, McQueen and then Saint at one point. And I think Marlene's done a review of, like, Celine and whatnot. So, uh, we love Marlene, right? Marlene's the best. I talk to Marlene, like, all the time. You're beautiful. Oh, thank you, Deborah. How do the Lux collection caps fit compared to the City collection? Oh, okay. Well, the Lux ones, they are all basically like 100% hand tied. And then all of the ones that are from the City collection, I can show you right here. You can see this is completely hand tied. They all have a full monofilament. They have the um, silicone ear tabs, a lace front that goes ear to ear. You can see it all the way across on a completely hand tied like cap. Besides, some of them have a little bit of the wefting down here. And I think that has to do with um, the style maintenance, honestly. Um, but when it comes to the ones that are from the City Collection, they all, except for one at this point, have the same sort of cap construction, which is where they are a lace front that does go ear to ear, as you can see here, but not quite with the same ear tabs. These are velvet covered and not uh, silicone. These ones all tend to have a left-sided lace part, except for the one that has a middle part. It's open wefted, not hand tied, and it has an extended uh, velvet nape and velcro adjusters all of the lux ones have pull type adjusters and lace extended napes instead of velour has eating carnivore helped you with any of your health issues i'm in day five and love it yes maria so anyone who doesn't hasn't been on one of my lives and hasn't heard before i eat carnivore and i'm extremely strict about it because of my autoimmune disorders and everything too so carnivore has helped me with, it helped me lose weight. It helped me heal my um, stomach and intestines after having celiac disease for 30 years, whatnot. It also helped to get all of my um, antibodies for my thyroid all the way down to where it's considered in remission. Um, this one right here is, it's either Mason or Maison. I'm not sure which one because they, I haven't heard anyone say it yet. This is in the color Rich Chocolate Brown, and the reason I'm saying it like Maison is like house in French, but I'm thinking that's probably not it. It's probably Mason, but <laughs> if it's one or the other, same as before, full on story there. This was 100%, none of that wefting in there, an extended lace snape and pull type adjusters. So 
it also cleared up my skin. Uh, my skin looks a lot better. I don't have psoriasis. I also have, I mean, I still have it, but it like keeps it under control. I also suffer from migraines and it for the most part has made it so that the frequency and severity of my migraines is not as bad as they used to be. So I can just take medicine and not be dead for like three days. Um, I also need the ketotic state, which is where you have ketones in your blood to help prevent the migraines. And that's what that does. Since this is extremely, um, it's about, about as ketotic as you can get kind of thing. You're very welcome, Missy. I don't have a problem sharing. Bless you, honey. You're a warrior princess. Oh, thank you, Martha. Uh, yes, Marlene answered that question. Saint, yeah, Saint Vanetta and Louis are the shortest. I reviewed the Italian collection a few days ago, says Marlene. Happy anniversary, Shirley. Yes, Marlene did do a comparison. What is the shortest lux is currently available? Oh, that's what they were answering. My daughter has linear scleroderma and an incoup de sabra through her left forehead, through her eyebrows. Oh, yes, yes. I know exactly what you mean by that word. Yeah. God bless you and your mother. Thank you, Karen. Which is this one? This one is, I think it's, yeah, it's either Mason or Maison. I'm not sure which one. I tend to sometimes want to read things in French also, so, or other languages. You're so pretty. Love the curls. Thank you. Uh, very cute. Let's see. Oh, my husband likes this one. <laughs> That's cute, says Julie. You are blessed with such a sweet and happy personality, even though you have a lot of health issues. I also deal with autoimmune problems. All my siblings do too. We don't always seem as pleasant as you. Oh, trust me. <laughs> I'm not always this pleasant. If I had to be live streaming like 24 seven, I feel like people would be like, girl, calm down. I'm like, I just want pizza. Why can't I eat the pizza? <laughs> you know what I mean? It should be, just be so convenient, but I can't. Very cute, says Sandra. Mason is beautiful, says Marlene. Thank you. Cute style. I love the color. Absolutely, Margaret. Let's see. I feel like she would be really pretty with a headband, which Shirley sells this one. This one is the Pewter Rush one. Hi, Carolyn. Love these curls, says Kathleen. I didn't see you come, come in, Kathleen. Hi. Yes, happy anniversary, says Margaret. There she is. I feel like she'd be super cute on like anyone. I love how it's above it, but it gives you just a little something else. Hi everyone, I'm dealing with a migraine today, so I'm going back into hibernation. Oh yes, Eileen, I was literally just talking about that. Yes, please, please go feel better. You can always watch the replay, it's all good. But thank you for popping in and saying hi. Are these the new Lux? They are, Julie, absolutely. Hi, Allison. I'm late, but I'm here just to make sure to watch the replay. Yes, that's where I gave the update about my mom. Was you can watch that in the beginning on the replay within the first, like, 10 minutes or so. So cute, says Colleen. Thank you. Yes, headbands of hope. All right, now let's get into some longer ladies, and then we will have the shortest two at the last bit. And then, like I said, I also have the Aesthetica new ones all the way. This one here is Taylor, and this is in Toasted Walnut. This is such a pretty color. And on this wig, it's really pretty. So kind of like if you're familiar with all the other Beltress and like Raquel Welsh or whatnot, you can see that the light, it is lighter in the front there to help with the, it hides all the knotting and whatnot. This one is 100% hand tied all the way. There's no like wefting in there. So if you were worried about that and it has the same cap construction as everything else. Uh, oh my, these Lux styles are so amazing. Whoops. How do they keep coming up with such beautiful styles? Amazing, right? That was my thought. I was putting them on earlier and I was like, oh wow, these are so pretty. And there's even one where everyone always says, oh, you look like Sydney Sweeney. And every single time, it's almost always on TikTok too, which is like the younger group of people, um, I think younger than me sort of thing. And everyone is always like, I always get a message every single day I post something and it is always saying, you look like Sydney Sweeney. There is one wig in here I put it on and I was like, oh, I see it now. But every other time I'm just like, what are they talking about? Oh, I need her. Oh, I love the color and style. Right, Margaret? Taylor is my favorite. Stunning says Haley. Thank you. Gorgeous says Christine. Thank you. I love her says Colleen. You do exactly. Really? Leanne? It... My husband says it's the eyes. That's what he says. So, because he at first was like, I don't know who, who this girl 
like even is. So, but yes, he said that when he looks at it with the eyes, that that's where it's at. I have like the sleepy bedroom eyes kind of situation. <laughs> Is what people have always told me. Wow, this is Donna. Taylor's gorgeous and stunning. Thank you, Marlene. What color is that again? This is toasted walnut. I saw her on Saturday Night Live and felt like I was watching a live. Oh, it's right. You told me that, Leanne. Impeccable, says Martha. Right? This is gorgeous. On you. Thank you, Kathleen. I have no clue who she is. She plays in like Euphoria and whatnot. That's that's where um, I saw her, I think, the first time was when I watched that show. But you can see, there is another style that is really similar to this. I'm going to pull that one out first, and then I'll show them side by side because they are really similar. There's actually um, a whole other one. Fontaine and Celine are really close to each other also. But this is Taylor. I'm going to get Carolyn or Caroline and then hold it up because they are extremely similar. Is there a link for this one? Um, yes, uh, Marlene linked it above. What color are your eyes? My eyes are, you can see that they're kind of like a grayish, bluish green kind of color. And depending on the light, they can look either more blue or more green, but they are all, um, it's muted with gray for sure. All right, so this is Caroline. You can see she is, like I said, kind of similar. That's what I noticed is that they were very close to each other. And you can see here's the style difference. So this one's got kind of where it comes away from the face, but as far as being quite curly and long, it does have that. They're both these really beautiful kind of bombshell style. So that's the difference here. This one here is Caroline and this one is Taylor. So Taylor and Caroline. So Caroline, I have her in, this is the color Burnt Biscuit Blonde. And what's Euphoria? It's a TV show on uh, HBO. It reminds me of Spy House, right? That's pretty. Wow, that is perfect. Oh, thank you. Oh, no one knows who she is. <laughs> wow, lots of lushness. Absolutely, Missy, 100%. So this one also, it does not have any of the like clothes wefting. It's 100% hand tight all the way. Same as before, full mono, lace front ear to ear, and silicone ear tabs. It's very like, I would say like bombshell hair is what this one in particular, especially in the blonde, reminds me of. It also kind of, in um, the way that I've noticed is that as they've come out with like the city and whatnot, there's a couple where it was like, it was like the same style, but longer and longer and longer. This one kind of reminds me of the Taylor, or no, the Miaison, where, or Mason, where it's just a little bit longer and they added like the swoop to it, but it has the same sort of very full curls, but just slightly longer. <laughs> Oh, gotcha. I'm old. You're there. You're good, Martha. I didn't know who she was until I saw her in a show. <laughs> I didn't know either until I happened to see her host uh, Saturday Night Live and thought it was thought I was watching Allison. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, I look like a movie star. Thank you, Solitaire. If I didn't see you put that on, I'd never know it was a wig. Seriously insane, right? Reminds you of Laguna Beach. Yeah, I could see that just a little bit. But here is the lace front. You can see it's really quite, I can't even see the knotting in there until it gets to the darker color. But that's how, that's how good the lace front is. Okay, there she is. Super pretty. But yes, lots of boingy and whatnot and of course because if you were to have it where it comes through here it'll look like scalp especially if you don't wear anything super heavy so if you were to part it like this and wear it on your head it would look very natural so that it looks like scalp is it in burnt biscuit yes this this is burnt biscuit leanne oh that's much longer than lugona yeah it is it's so um the same sort missy the same sort of wave pattern that Laguna had was on this one. So you can see it kind of goes like this. That's what Laguna was like, but this one is significantly longer. And as Milano, it kind of had like a, where it went like this, it's the same sort of wave pattern, but just longer by a, a lot. All right, this one has been requested for people. They've, I've asked, people have asked me like, I don't know how many times for this one. This one is Stella 
and this is in the color Cool Champagne Blonde. This is the unrooted version of the Burnt Biscuit Blonde, and this is their longest one as of yet in the Lux collection. So this one is 100% again. There is no, like, closed wefting in there. It's all the way. Put her on. So this is, I think, my favorite of the bunch, simply because they both posted at the exact same time. <laughs> Marlene and Shirley, yeah. Okay. I love your, you love your Stella, she's your favorite, right, Julie? So I really love this because I really love long hair, and I love the blonde in it. Like, as soon, earlier when I put it on, I was like, oh, I was like, this is so pretty. Like, it's really quite beautiful. Let me just get this tag out of the way. There we are. But no, this is so pretty. And because my favorite before from the cafe collection was the hand tied Dolce and Dolce 23. And this is kind of like that, but with more, um, there's more layers in it. It's not as heavy and the fibers, of course, better because they are the upgraded Lux kind. And I haven't broken her part or anything, but beautiful on you. Oh, thank you, Marlene. Oh my God, gorgeous, says Margaret, right? That's beautiful on you. Thank you. Is there a sale on the Lux wigs? I believe so, Bonnie. I think right now, I think I have to look it up. My mom is on my phone. Um, I think they were like 40% off if they're in stock. And then I believe it was like, was it, you're gonna have to remind me, Shirley, what's the discount on the uh, bell press you've got going on right now? easily clip her up. You see now she's up. A little bit of tendril. Stella is your favorite, Bonnie, right? Like this is so pretty. And look, look, look guys, the hairline, especially when it's this light of a color, and I know not everyone likes an unrooted blonde. But the knotting is super good, and that lace front is, like like Martha said, impeccable. Absolutely gorgeous, says Leanne. Thank you. Shirley says, yes, if you buy in stock, they are 40% off. If you buy Bell Trust Delivery, they are 35% off. Bonnie says, thank you, Shirley. Taylor, uh, Taylor and Stella for the win for me, says Margaret. Absolutely gorgeous, says Colleen. Thank you. So there is she is. You can see how well the fibers move because when you bring it out, from there, you can see how nice that comes down from where it was just up. And that's how you know that the fibers are super good because otherwise they could clump together. But no, I think, I think Stella is my favorite so far, but that's because I'm obsessed with long hair. <laughs> All right, here is our next beauty. This is Mara and I've got her in Shaken Oat Milk Blonde. She does not have any of that, um, any of the clothes wafting. It is 100% hand tied all the way. And Mara, I think is a super easy, I would consider this a really easy to wear style because it is layered just right and it is not too long and this one also has a beautiful A-line cut, so it's very asymmetrical. So it gives a really nice profile. It's really, it's really beautiful. Shirley, do you have a BT San Francisco and Milkshake Blonde in stock? Says Missy. So she's super pretty. She's a cutie, says Haley. Thank you. Now, I think she's a really, she's a real, I love how it comes feathers and swoops down along the side here as it swoops away from your face. Do you have any red? I do, CJ. I have one coming up next. I have Fontaine and I've got her in pumpkin, uh, pumpkin pie spice and then I also have the Milano. Mara's really easy to wear. I've been reaching for it. It's so pretty, says Marlene. Love that color, says Haley. No email customer service and they can tell when she will be back, says Shirley to Missy. Missy says, that's beautiful. Thank you. This is the 
Shaken Oat Milk Blonde in Mara. Super pretty. Late to the party, shared twice with the discounts. Oh, thank you, Julia. It's a great everyday style. Absolutely, Margaret. This is, it's just the right length. And you can see as I hold it like this, where the fanning comes out and you can tell it's A-line because of the way it swoops like this. Really comes together quite beautifully. Hi, did I miss Newport? I haven't pulled out a Newport for tonight's showing, but I can at the end. I do have, a, I have two different colors of Newport. All right, so this one here is, this is Fontaine. And this is in pumpkin pie spice. And I also will put this on and then I will show Celine because they are kind of uh, similar. You love that cut, Missy? I think she's really pretty. Great, thank you, you're welcome. This one also does not, it is 100% hand tied all the way. There is no clothes wafting in there. And of course, same as before, full mono ear to ear with silicone ear tabs. And this one, I will tell you, because I noticed like right away, um, based on like the other longer styles, this one has a higher density. Um, it's a little more heavy, but it is not like uncomfortably heavy. It's just, there's just more hair here and I can, I can feel that. Um, from everything I've seen, Milkshake Blonde is the hardest to get. If you order, please be patient and wait for your order, says Shirley. So here is Fontaine. So she's a little bit longer than like Hudson is because Hudson about flipped right here. So she's got like a little bit there, but Celine, here is the Celine. She's kind of got like the same sort of length on here. She's just a little bit longer than Fontaine is. Let's see. You can see there's the length on them here. She's a little bit longer. So that way, if you like a style like this, you can know that this one will be good too. You shine in red. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Stunning, says Marlon. Thank you. Beautiful. My husband likes it. He's, you're melting, babe. <laughs> Another gorgeous one. Oh, no, I should shut my eyes now, says Linda. <laughs> oh, that's right, because you like the straight, the straight um, long ones. And that color looks gorgeous on you. Thank you, Margaret. I love my Celine, says Julie. Oh, you've got all of them then, huh? All the nice long ones. You and me both, Linda. Alrighty, so this is a really pretty color too. So here up you can see close together. It's really easy to see on a straight style in particular. You can see all the different kinds of reds in there and the like golden blonde highlights. And this is her root. It is a warmer sort of brown, I would say, but you can see definitely all the different colors that are in there. Definitely not a flat red at all. All right, and she also, yep, she does not have that clothes wafting in there. It's 100% hand tied on this one. And this one is, yeah, Celine in Shaken Oat Milk. This is the one where I put it on and I was like, oh, yep, I see. I see the Sydney Sweeney thing that everyone's talking about because her hair kind of looks like this too. I was like, oh, I feel like I'm playing like, like dress up or something as her suddenly. Yes, yes, yes. I love these long ones. Me too, Julie, absolutely. Thank heavens for my fast, whew, says Martha. <laughs> so you can see from before that this one, in my opinion, is pretty similar to Fontaine. It's just, there's, it's got more flippy. It's kind of like Hudson. There's a lot of them where they're very similar to each other in style-wise is the way that I would say it. Uh, she's probably wearing this wig, right, Martha? <laughs> Absolutely. If I was an actress, I would have different hair every day. That way they would never know what I was wearing. But as you can tell from the picture, so Celine, if you guys can see the actual stock photo there, um, I thought she was a long asymmetrical like length one, and she's not. So she is long all the way around. There's no asymmet at, like there's, it's not asymmetrical at all. It is just a longer style that is very flippy at the ends, kind of like Hudson, but longer. It reminds me of, honestly, the way that the style looks. It reminds me kind of like, what is it, the 80s or was it the 70s? Where there was hairstyles where you'd expect them to see like the big eyes and kind of like what, like twiggy, but, but like with a longer hair. Hopefully somebody knows what I'm talking about. Celine would look like the Rachel on me. <laughs> you must be much, much taller than me, Linda. 
Oh, they're all gorgeous. I'm in trouble, says Margaret, <laughs> right? <laughs> Stunning, love them all, says Haley. Thank you. But no, this is the color I feel that looks the most um, natural on me, this um, shaken oat milk. So if you are somebody who has a complexion similar to that of mine, let me get that hair out of the way. I think that this color would be the one that's, if you're looking for a lighter capacity, that this one would be the closest color for a natural sort of finish. Um, the other one that I think that's like my kind of complexion would be the um, toasted walnut, but it's darker. So if you were to kind of put them on, at least when I showed it in a straight one, it looked like that. There's no Stella in stock, Bonnie? Really? Because these just came from Beltras. You love that look, Leanne? Me too. No, this one's really pretty. We are stars in our own stories, and you and I do wear different styles every day. Right, Martha? You're right. Yes, the 70s. Oh, okay, I did get that right. Okay. Twiggy was in the 60s. That was my hair in the 70s. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was trying to... There was something about, like, the style when I put it on, but they always had, like, the same... I was talking about the Twiggy eyes, where they had where they were very big and open with, like, the white and the black, and it just had that kind of, like, doe eye look, but with this hairstyle. Reminded me of the 70s. All right, so here are our shorties. This is the shortest one here. I didn't see them on the site. Mm -hmm. This is Louie, and this is in the color Oyster. This, um, if you are familiar with the City Collection Oyster, the Lux Collection does have where the nape is darker. It's listed as black, but it's it's definitely not black. This is the one where I was gonna point, need, draw your attention here, is that this is one of the styles where it does have more of this like like wefting. You can see it there. So they're listed as 100% hand tied, but this part right here is not a hand tied sort of situation. So the majority of the cap absolutely is. And she is, here mom, this is the one you need to make sure you're paying attention to because I think you'd love it. Oh, yeah. Can you see it? You like this one? Like, look at the style. Oh, yeah. Look at uh, Yeah, definitely. Like, isn't that super cute? Yes. It feels super cute. Like, I put it on, and I was like, ooh. And I like how, like, the sides, they go like this. Right. Like. Yeah, I like that. Like a whole nother. We were just talking about the 70s, but this is like a whole nother, a whole nother um, decade. Mm -hmm. It's very, like. Oh, I like that very much so. Roaring 20s to the 30s. It's very pretty. That looks great on you. Oh, thank you. Louie is such a pretty stacked. Absolutely, Marlene. Oh my god, I love her, says Martha. It's This is a fantastic wig, and I usually do not like short ones. This is super cute. What's I the name of that one again? This one is Louie. Louie? L-O-U-I-E? Yeah, like the French king, Louie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I love the sculpted back. Right, Julia? The stock photos don't do it justice. That's why I'm here to help you ladies with the reels that I do and then of course the lives. And if I, I do kind of help people one-on-one -on -one, sometimes depending on um, availability, I can pull stuff up and take pictures or show people. That would be beautiful on Tammy, says Margaret. I love her too, says Natalia. No, this is, I don't want to take it off. <laughs> it's so pretty. Yeah, that's, it's, it's so pretty. I love that. It's gorgeous. And you can see here exactly the style of her. Get my hand situation. There is, there she is. She's such a pretty, pretty little bob. And that's the shortest one. I don't usually wear short, but I love Louie and Torino, both perfect for Florida weather. Absolutely, Marlene, especially with all the hand tightness that makes it super breathable. It is dark underneath. It looks like it in the back. It, 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 yes, Ruby. Yes. Yeah, the nape on Oyster, the color, they added where it is darker. So if you come through here, you can see her. You can see there is the darker hairs in there at the, at the nape only. Why is it doing that? There. So at the nape only, you can see the hairs are a little bit darker, and that's it. And it's just to help with the realism um, for when people usually have gray hair, usually it's lighter in the front, and then it mixes through, and then it'll be darker at the nape. Like my mom's natural bio hair is like that. Where is Shirley? 
Oh, she's super busy. And so Marlene is doing her job right now, but that's okay. We're all helping her out. And I'm going, I'm just, I do the live sometimes too. Louie is a cutie. You said it, Missy. Absolutely. Hi, Petra. Oh, there's Shirley. Well, she, she was going to step in and out. And now she's back. <laughs> all righty. If you liked Louie, but you want it to be a little bit longer, here is another option. This is Vanetta, and I have got her in uh, Sunkissed Almond R. So she is another one that has where she's got some of the, like, wefted sewings right here, but the rest of it is open wefted. So you can still see my finger all the way through this cap, like, I've got some hair. But you can see my finger right here. There she is, even through those wefted points because the cap is so lightweight and stretchy. You're a cutie too, says Missy. Happy birthday anniversary, Shirley. We should have a cake. Yes, a birthday cake for Miss Shirley. Should I just like give her like in Shirley's wig shop group when it's her birthday on Monday, we should like put a whole bunch of cake emojis in there. <laughs> like somebody start and we all just will dump cake emojis or something in there for her. All right. So this is, you see, just a little bit longer. And this is Vanetta in Sunkissed Almond. Super cute. Hey, I have really good kidneys and they aren't perfect. A potty break was needed. There you go. Everyone needs to go to the bathroom. That's absolute. You know, all I have to say is that it's always after I'm done doing these, I do everything that I need to do. I never eat before, and I don't really drink before, so I don't have to stop. So I completely get it. Y'all, don't forget to spring forward tonight, says Martha. I have a friend with hair loss, and she fell in love with Vanetta. I gave her mine. Now I need another. Ooh, Marlene. What color, girlfriend? Let's see. Do you already have something in the rich chocolate brown? Because if not, I think you'd really like that one for sure. There is Miss Vanetta. And as before, they all have beautiful mono tops. So if you do not like where they're at, you can part her and she has a beautiful parting space. And she also would be really great with headbands because she has a fantastic lace front and hairline. She's super cute. All right, so let's see. I am going to now not strangle myself with the cord. Um, I'm gonna show the new Aestheticas that are coming. Uh, they've come out, I now have where I have all of them, all four. Yes, I have all the brunettes in both collections. Now I need to choose which color I want. <laughs> right, Marlene? That's how I feel, I'm like, I have them all, but what do I really want? <laughs> okay, so I have all of the new ones, and then I also have the comparison from the regular synthetic that way i can show you guys this so this is the new part of the heat defiant collection from aesthetica this one is veil and it is in chrome rt1b so this is not regular synthetic it is heat friendly this is her lace front right here and it is just in this part it is kind of like a small little thing so this is the spacing for the lace front area and then the left-sided lace part the rest has, it's basically like, it's like no permatease in there. It is open wefted and stretchy and extended velvet nape and Velcro adjusters. Aesthetica knocked it out of the park with this collection. Absolutely, Marlene. I love them. Allison was so kind to help me with her, with the Trezalor blonde colors, which is very hard. Their color charts are the worst. She's the best. Oh, you remember, Jill? <laughs> yes. Yes, I, I remember talking to you and laying them out for you. Yes, I do remember that. And I'm like, like the queen of Trezalore here. So I, I got your back. If anyone ever needs help with Trezalore, I've got you. So she is a nice, I would refer to this as an angled pixie. So she has a nice A-line cut here with the top layer. And then she does caress the back of your neck. And then it comes across and you have where it is very punky and edgy looking and it's it's really just quite stunning martha says oh that's adorable <laughs> right cute style absolutely and the one that i have to show in comparison to it is the ryan 
Whoops. This is also in Chrome RT1B. So this is the heat defiant style veil in Chrome RT1B. And this is Ryan, which is part of their synth, the regular synthetic fibers in Chrome RT1B. So you can see what the colors look like in comparison. You can see this one is no longer shiny looking due to the fact that it's been processed differently as a heat defiant fiber. However, the exact same kind of color story is still present. You can see it's the same sort of thing that you loved before. It's just not as shiny. Veil is so pretty on you. Oh, thank you. I want that, but in blonde, says Missy. Oh, she'd be so pretty in blonde. Absolutely. But you can see, there you go. And there are a couple of things where you can point out, like on blonde ones, where certain tones do come through a little bit different. I can show that. So I actually ended up wearing the Brighton to go see my mom at the hospital. And it was raining, like really heavily. And so I, it got wet. And I've never actually done like a kind of like soak your synthetic wig and see how the style comes back sort of thing. But this is Brighton after she'd been rained on three times in, I'm talking like torrential downpour rain and her style is still perfect. She's not frizzy, she's, she's beautiful. She does have a lace front that goes, it's like from here to here. So it's like temple to temple and it is a left-sided lace part. There's like minimal permatease up in here. It's open wefted and stretchy and extended velvet nape and Velcro adjusters. And the Velcro adjusters are new for Aesthetica before they had the hook and eye closures or bra strap type, however you would like to refer to them. I think I need it in sunlit blonde. This is the sunlit blonde. So this is Brighton in sunlit blonde. And then the style I can show that has the same color. I have her in thin, so they are both curly. That way you can see them. So here is a thin, and you can see the same kind of color is present. It's just, again, not as shiny. So it's still very beautiful. You can see there's the curls. Here's the nice curls. So cute, says Marty. Thank you. Brighton is perfect. Anyone that loves Editor's Pick by Raquel Welsh will love Brighton. I need an Editor's Pick. I'm so sad that my... I had to give the one back because I was like, oh, I love it. <laughs> I, I think I'll probably end up getting one. She was made for you so pretty. Oh, thank you, Haley. But no, yes. So you can see the curls. They're just not as shiny. But you can see it is still the same kind of color. Here is the rooting part on it. You can see. There we go. Oh, my God. I have been living in Brighton. I want her in every color. She's like a shorter version of Editor's Pick by Raquel Welsh. Right, Shirley? Like, they, sh okay, so Aesthetica showed Brighton in the red color, and I was like, oh, I need that, because it's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's good to know. I love Editor's Pick, says Martha. Yes. No, she's deaf. If I had the other one still, I would compare them, but I don't have um, one here to compare to. But yes, I would agree with that assessment from what I remember, for sure. Can you clarify what heat defiant means? No curling irons? That is correct, uh, Deb. So when, well, heat defiant means it defies heat, as in if you apply heat to this, it will not melt immediately within reason. There is a point at which you can apply the heat, let me see, specific temperature that it can withstand. Obviously use the lowest setting first. Um, but as far as this is, the heat defiant fiber can withstand up to 320 degrees Fahrenheit or 160 degrees Celsius. We recommend working within the 260 to 280 frame, which is uh, 120 to 140 Celsius. That is, they suggest that you use styling tools that are professional grade with digital temperature settings to control heat more accurately. So one that would display the heat so that you do not melt and fry your Hey, Shirley, there's um, Joy Believer needs to be removed. I'll make you a deal. I'll send you a couple of editor's picks that need help. Then you can keep them to show what you did to bring them back to life. Do you accept that challenge? Yes, Shirley, send them all to me. I'll take like 12. Just <laughs> one for each new day. Of the week. You have to show what it looks like straightened and crimped and all kinds of stuff. That would actually be really fun. What color is closest to the Raquel Welsh Shaded Biscuit? I believe that's the right color. Um, with Aestheticas, I'm not entirely certain. Um, with their Heat Defiant collection anyways, they 
Um, let me, I would have to grab one. Hold on. Let me put this one on first and then I'll do that. This is the next one. This is seven and I've got her in um, RH 1488. I would love that. Oh, you would love that idea, Margaret. I could do it live. I could show how to fix curls and stuff and how to heat treat. That's that's a really good idea, Shirley. Go ahead and send whichever ones you want and I can, I'll can i make some content with them for you. So it has the same temple to temple lace front here. It has an extent, it has a lace, left-sided lace part. This right here, there's a bit more permatease than the other two styles within here. It is open wefted and stretchy. It has an open, like wefted sort of open nape there, but it has where the Velcro goes all the way here. So you can use the Velcro adjusters. That would be great, says Sandra. Okay. Well, from what I'm hearing, surely people want me to do makeup and they want me to show them how to use heat tools again. That's, that's what I've picked up from this. All right. So this is an unrooted one. Beautiful blonde. She's very curly. Let's see. Let me put this back. Let me go grab a shaded biscuit real quick. Should have one just laying around. Hold on. God bless you and your sweet mom. Oh, thank you, Angie. I love her, says Colleen. Right? No, she's super pretty. I really love how the style just falls away from the face. Like, I haven't done anything to her because I've been kind of busy with everything happening. And I definitely haven't fixed her. You can see my James, too. She had a bit of box hair that kind of self-corrected itself. Thank you so much. You're very welcome, Deb. So here is the Shaded Biscuit. And this is on the um, Straight Up with a Twist Elite. Let's see. This is, so this one is the Sunlit Blonde on Aesthetica's Heat Defiant collection. So this is Sunlit Blonde, and this is on Brighton. This is the Shaded Biscuit, and this is on Straight Up With A Twist Elite. So their roots are similar, though the tone's a little different. Um, but the color like this, this one is just much more bright, kind of like a sunny blonde, hence the sunlit blonde very well. Um, this one's just not as golden, bright, buttery blonde. So as far as the next one that they have, that's the Silver Sun and RT8, and that would be so much more ashier than this. It's essentially bordering on like a platinum sort of situation. Um, they did say, however that they would be adding more colors to the new height heat defiant collection especially if they sell well so like any other color they might have something closer to a shaded biscuit in that capacity my editor's pick got frizzy i wasn't able to revive her i can see what i can do to it heidi and then i can definitely try and show it live too or we can just kind of do it together too i can go live from my own page and do that also they can have permatease. The ones that don't have permatease are the hand tied. Yeah. I just used my heat brush and she was perfect again, says Martha. Uh, sometimes a, a, a round and monotop or a round for volume for a crown bump. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yes. So the one that is where you can show together, I have her on Verona and this is also in the RH 1488. Here she is. It is you can see there is the same sort of color. Obviously, again, it's definitely not as shiny. And you can see that there are a couple of other tones coming through. This one, I found them to be kind of obviously the same sort of story, but you can see the tonality has changed a little bit. Um, for me, the biggest part that changed from what I noticed is that in the front here, they have these very light pieces, which this one does not have, not at least in the same kind of capacity. So this 1488 on the new Heat Defiant collection, I find to be it just kind of lighter overall is what it to me almost looks like. Like it's the same idea, but I feel like this tonally, this one's a little darker than this one, but that's just how I feel. I don't know if anyone else is seeing the same thing, but it's the same sort of color. This one, hopefully you guys are seeing the same thing. Heidi, there is almost always help to revive her. Frizzy is not reason enough. She can be saved, says Shirley. Uh, 
All right, and then my last new Aesthetica, this is James, and I have her in the red color. This is RH302826. So James is their full mono top part. It also has the temple to temple lace front. It is open wefted and it has the also like the extended open um, nape here with the Velcro adjusters and open ear tabs that have hair sewn on. Is Brighton and Caramel Kiss in stock? I can see exactly what you are saying about the colors, says Shirley. Oh, okay, good. I was just making sure I was making sense kind of thing. I feel that the red one also looks a little different also. Um, so I'll show that one too, but that's just, just what I'm picking up on it. That they're similar, but not quite the same thing, if that makes sense. So she had kind of a box hair and she kind of self-corrected herself. There's almost just like a lift up here, which I don't necessarily hate. So it's, you can see where it's kind of flip-flopping, but if I were to fix it, then it would be fine. Everything else is cool with the style. She is a longer one. She's heat defiant. You can curl her if you want to. And the other part about having a long straight piece, if you like them that way, is that if you apply heat to it, they are extremely easy to fix because you just take the heat of a straightening iron or a flat iron and run right over and then they're good to go. James is beautiful, light density and minimal if any permatease. Absolutely, Marlene. Marlene loves, says Margaret. Wow, beautiful, this one is your color. Oh, thank you, Terry. Love it, says Julia. Go to your home. All right, so this is the color, this is the one I have her in. So this is Haven, and this is in the same color. This is the RH30 uh, 2826, and you'll see what I mean. So this one in comparison, it's like the redness kind of um, on the new Defiant fibers got kind of dulled a little bit because this one on Haven, the same, it's the same exact color code. It looks just a little bit less red to me. This one looks more brown, this one looks more red, and especially when you start looking at the front here. Um, the front on my Haven has these lightened pieces where you can really see where they are like a golden blonde in comparison to the red that's in there and that's heavily mixed throughout. And when you look at the James, that whole super lightened like golden blonde, I mean, really isn't there. There is a highlight that is heavily blended through, but there's no chunk and it doesn't, um, it's just, it just looks more brown in comparison to this one. It's still a be beautiful color for sure, but this one has far more red. How do you fix or style these wigs from the box hair? I, I got mellow and she just like hangs in my face. I can actually show that I haven't done it, I might as well. Mine arrived the same, I added a bit of water and it fixed it, right? They show five as of today for Brighton and Caramel Kiss. I prefer the non, um, heat friendly color applications. Yeah, you can use steam to train the fibers away from the face. Just keep to steam removing to avoid damaging the lace front. Right, that is true. So here. So this is just water in a spray bottle. So for instance, the part I was having issue with was this where it wanted to bump up. It's like folding, as you can see, away from my face it, or towards my face, which is really the problem. Do you have anything in the, no, I don't have anything in 1226 RT4, uh, Eileen. But if you were to spray it and just kind of train it away from the face a little bit, she still kind of wants to go that way, but I can, I am twisting her as I do it, like into and away from my face at the same time. And of course, a little bit of heat also would work. But the other, like no heat application, which I do have there, is that you can take, you wet, you wet the hair fibers like I just did. And then you take bobby pins, which I've done this before to other wigs, and I can take it and lay it down how I'd like it to lay down, which is away from my face. So it's going, to, I want it to lay down straighter and away from my actual face and as this dries it will train the hairs to lay down this way as opposed to into my face and this part here it doesn't bother me hi Allison sorry I'm so late do you have a heat friendly caramel kiss and I don't Anna no um they only sent me 
Yes, that's a good spray bottle from Amazon. It looks like it might be the same one. I just chose to get the the like all red one. Uh, surely it really it, is it the Tangle Teaser one? Oh, it doesn't say any kind of brand on it. Whatever, it's the same sort of one. They are making are they making a 1226 RT4? I don't know that off the top of my head, head um Eileen. Yeah, they only let me pick four wigs, and so I'd have to, Shirley would have to send me, like, another ones, or I'd have to buy it my, on my own to show it, because um, Aesthetica only did those, and these are the ones that I have, ones where I could show you regular synthetic across the new application of color. That is what I can do, and that's why I picked these ones. But you can see she is still in there in the hair clips, and I can take a picture probably um, later or tomorrow to show how it looks as it's dried down. All right, so let's see. Is there, you're very welcome, Anna. How much are they, uh, Margie? Um, they, people have been linking, linking up above. So if you click on that link, you can then do it. Thanks for the Mr. Link. I was thinking Ulta may have the Mr. Yeah, they probably would too, Sheila, if you don't want to buy it from Amazon. Like, I know they sell them at, like, Target and stuff too. Um, all right, so if there, let's see, is there any sort of requests? Does anyone want to see anything again while I'm still here? I don't even know how long I've been on for. Oh, only an hour and a half. I kind of went through that kind of quick. Yeah, if anyone has any sort of um, requests, I can absolutely show anything. One of the other hand tides again, or other ones from the city collection. I think somebody asked for a new port. I can do that one and just get these back to themselves. Where is, why is there an extra box? What the hell? Well, I'll figure that out later. <laughs> Would you show the Hudson again? Yes. What a pretty show. Thank you for being so awesome. You're very welcome, Martha. Let's see, this one's the Hudson. That's Saint. This is Hudson. All right, so here is the Hudson, same as before. She has, there's a very beautiful style on her. This is going to be like a mid-length bob. She has a full, yes, full monotop, lace front ear to ear with the velvet, or excuse me, the silicone ear tabs that are moldable. You can see them on there. She is 100% fully hand tied. You can, see, you can see my finger through there. An extended, or it's just a regular lace nape and pull type adjusters. This one I am showing is in the color chocolate buttercream. Curious, or uh, would you do Modena again? I'm curious to see if you could throw a low pony. Yes, I will show you, Anne. So here is Hudson, and while I have got her on, I will grab a new port because somebody wanted to see her. Yeah, I've got the whole city collection, so if anyone, I've got the whole of the Lux so far and the whole of the city collection, if anyone wants to see that. So there is Hudson. She's very pretty. You put on a beautiful show. I really enjoyed. Thank you. You're very welcome, Louise. Martha, you are one of the sweetest members of our group. Thank you. Right, Shirley? She really is. I love Martha. I love so many of you guys. I don't want to say like, oh, I only love this person or I only love that person because that's that's totally not true. I feel like we're such a a good group of women, honestly, like so supportive of each other. And we honestly just come together anytime that there's been a problem, especially the outpouring. Like what was the color from the last one, Joy? That was uh, the chocolate buttercream. So this is Newport. I've got her in milkshake blonde. This is the extended velvet name. You can see it goes ear to ear, extended lace, or it's the lace front. This does have an extended velvet name and Velcro adjusters and velvet ear tabs. So I do have to say, like I was saying, that you guys reach out in such a way that any other group I've been in on the internet, they don't do the same thing. And it really makes it feel like we are a true family or like community of people. And it really like the outpouring of love for like my mom and for me and for each other is and Shirley and just anyone that we come across it's just really so amazing and I really can't believe it really is like that. It's, I just, I can't get over it. Yes, and it, it's amazing. Oh, here, did you want to say something again? Here. 
Oh, yeah. hold, hold on. Hold on. My phone wants to, uh, the brightness. Where is it? Okay, there we go. So they can see you. There you go. Go ahead, Mom. The amount of support that one can get from from people I didn't know and how it has just blossomed and blossomed and gotten so much larger. I do appreciate it and I feel that really does lift my spirits. It makes me feel a lot better too. Like every time I'm like, oh wow, they're just saying they're just really there for us. It's so nice considering we don't really have like a big family. So the fact that I've found like a community of women to, that to me feels like family is just, it's, it's, it's really unbelievable. And the support is just astounding. It's, I really just, I'm so beside myself with how much outpouring care and love and support and just, it, I never would have expected it. And so a lot of the time I'm just like, wow, that's so crazy. Because, I mean, you don't have you don't have a lot of family either. I'm really, like, your only family. Like, besides, like, uh, my brother, Austin. Like, that's, like... That's it. <laughs> yeah. So it was just so f interesting coming from such a group of women where we're just like, oh, sure, we all love wigs. We'll show wigs together. And then it just became, like, a family. It's... I love it. I wouldn't change it for the world, ladies. I'm definitely on here to support you guys and help you guys and... I love that you guys feel the same way also. Like, oh my goodness. So let's see. Um, Dominica says that she always looks forward to the wig parties. You're one of uh, one of my favorite styles. Is like beautiful? I agree. What a wonderful group of friends, says Leanne. This is an amazing group of women, says Sandra. Praying for you, Tammy, says Julia. Andy says, hi, Tammy. Shay sends hearts. Andy says, feel better, Tammy. And then she says, I'm going to cry. Oh, Andy. I was, yeah. I've been trying not to. Let me just put it that way. Donna sends hearts. There's so much love and support in here. No ugliness, says Diane. Colleen also says, sends hearts. I really think of you all daily, says Leanne. You have a huge loving family now, and we are all prayer warriors, says Shirley. I know the feeling. I have no family, says Andy. Yeah. You've... You've all got more family now, says Diane. I hope you can all feel the love and prayers from us, says Margaret. Absolutely. we. Re I honestly feel like we can. And she's, she herself has said that she really believes that your guys' prayers have, have worked. Like, on, honestly. Anne says heart, uh, sends heart. So does Maria. Yes, we only want the best for you and mom, says Luann. Cry and get it out, says Andy. I don't know if you want me to cry on here, Andy. Uh, you know... <laughs> I just feel like oh, I have makeup coming off. Linda says hearts and prayers. Hearts and prayers for you. Both of you, says Eileen. Thank you. We need more people like more people like the people here and your family, Allison, in the world. Keep the love going. Oh, thank you, Laura. It does work, says Leanne. Yeah. Absolutely. I have no family either. It sucks, says Darwin. Yeah. Sure, says Andrew. Sure, you want me to cry on here? No. What are you wearing, Allison? Says Megan. Oh, this is Milkshake Blonde, uh, the color in on Newport by Beltrus. But no, I um at one point I was like, I'm gonna ugly cry on here in front of all of these people. And I tend to turn it off because there's like a logic to it where it's like if I just logic tell them the facts and not talk about how I feel, then I won't cry. And because like this is like a professional business sort of thing, I feel like me like crying on here would be not professional if that makes sense but i know we're all here in like a family and you, there is kind of like an intertwined sort of situation i just discovered shirley's wig shop about eight months ago and you were right love shirley and her staff and all you ambassadors such a fantastic group of women says sheila oh i don't have any traditional family either but i feel like i found a family here i love this group says sharon tammy you look good says andy uh, Haley says the power of prayers are amazing. Anna says, and Allison, I love that you have brought to the group. We love you and are praying for your sweet mom. Oh, thank you so much, Anna. Bring it. Andy really wants me to cry. <laughs> if you cry, that's totally okay. 
We, we all have our arms around you, says Andy. What cap size is better for a 23 inch head between Beltress and Aesthetica? Darwin, regular Aesthetica, regular synthetic, I would absolutely say you can do a 23, but with all of the hand tied ones, you should also be okay with the Beltress for sure. They are definitely uh, big head friendly. It's definitely more than business. We are here for you and it's a really special group, says Leanne. I agree 100%. So I love you. I do. <laughs> Are you sleepy? Am I sleepy? Yeah, you just look kind of sleepy. I wasn't sure who you were talking for a second. Oh no, I was talking to you. Right up in front of mine. So I guess she must have talked to me. <laughs> yeah, no, I was looking at you and said, I love you. Oh, yeah, that's why I was like, um, who should talk to? Yeah, I love you too. Well, I love you guys too, but yes, like, yeah. <laughs> this is an uh, this is absolutely a beautiful group. You are amazing. I enjoy watching all the shows. I I can. Everyone is so kind. Cry if you want. Express yourself. It's a beautiful thing. It's a it's a good cry for a beautiful reason. Shirley's wig shop group is the best. I agree. I'm Shirley. We love you and this group. Says Andy. We love you both and want to lift you up. Says Leanne. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes. I know you can see me and you can see yourself, but that's probably about it, huh? Right, right, right. That's but what, you can see. see. Shirley says we love you both. You say, I'm trying to find. Where's the... Ooh. Uh, doot, doot, doot. Okay, that's not working. I was going to show her the comments, but I can't find it on the camera. So there's that. We love, no, well, we love you both, so sure. Uh, uh. Yeah. All right. Well. <sighs> My face looks so silly from that angle. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, Laura says, God bless Shirley, too. Get well soon, Tammy, says Diane. Thank you. Yes. All right. Good plan. Yeah. Sending good thoughts and prayers to Tammy, Allison, and family, says Teresa. So. All right, ladies. So let's say if there's any more requests, let's go ahead and do that. Um, otherwise, I mean. I mean, what do you think? What has your favorite been of tonight? Mine? Mm-hmm. Well, it's going to be the first one, of course. <laughs> the first one? The one. You... Yeah, great one. Oh, it's the short bob. Oh. Then, you know, the little. Oh, little Louie? Proper... Yes, Louie. Yeah. Well, I'll put your favorite one back on then. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, so this was my mom's favorite of tonight. This is the Beltress Lux Louie in Oyster. You still yeah. still your favorite? Oh, yeah. Still my favorite. <laughs> Easy, cute, It is cute. cute. It is really cute. Doesn't You're right. It like flies in the face. I bet you it's not heavy either. Huh? I said it doesn't fly in your face. No. And I bet not heavy either. No, it's definitely not heavy because it's there. Now that we ruined your you didn't ruin my night at all, Andy. No, no. It's 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 a difficult <laughs> topic and like, like we're all kind of involved with each other. It's kind of like a family thing, right? So like I'm doing this, you guys love the wigs, I love the wigs, my mom loves the wigs, and there's just this like heavy overarching kind of topic. But I mean we're all in this together and I'm, I'm in letting you guys know everything so that it doesn't it's not really like an overarching heavy sort of thing and that way we can all still enjoy all of the wigs together even though there's something something hard going on right so it, it doesn't it's really not ruining my night no i would not say that yeah no we just want to really keep everyone up to up to speed with everything because i know everyone was asking and of course when she comes back people are going to ask well what happened to her how is she doing so it'll be one step ahead of the game that's all yeah 
So sorry, I had to jump off for a second. Do you happen to have a dark brown HL color you can show, please? Uh, yes, I do. It is in a shorter piece, but I can show it. So here is the dark brown HL. You can see all the beautiful highlights in there. It's like a mixture of like a reddish and a blonde highlight throughout. And you can see the base of it is a dark brown. This is what she looks like on. Sending prayers says Ruby, show the hand tied ones in Beltrus. In Beltrus Candy Darwin's wife. Candy. I don't know what you mean by that. I don't know what you mean by that, uh, Darwin. Show the hand tied ones in Bell Trust Candy Darwin's wife. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what that means. My favorite is the Milano and Santa Spice, right, Donna? That was super pretty. Uh, Colleen says, sending prayers. So great to see you today, Tammy. Lots of great prayers for a speedy recovery, says Wendy. Praying for you and wishing for the best outcome possible, says Remick. Mom can have any wig she wants. I got her covered, says Shirley. There you go. <laughs> yes, I yeah, I got that, Marlene. I got it. Life is so hard sometimes. Supporting each other is the best way through God. Uh, good can be found even in the hard times. Absolutely, Leanne. And honestly, that's what wig, wigs bring me so much joy, and I don't really know why, but there's something about being able to come on and like put on a, put on these different hair and like you guys love them and we're all like talking to each other that it really does bring me joy to do this kind of thing knowing it helps people who have lost their hair or they're just they want to more self-confidence or whatnot and like my mom the same she really enjoys all of this andy says i'm gonna watch the replay okay andy how about the medina please yes that's because we care says luann yes Okay, great. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, Sheila. Probably she is, probably she is Candy, Darwin's wife. Darwin is the name who post. Okay, hand-tied Raquel Welsh wigs. I'm Candy, Darwin's wife on here. Oh, okay. Uh, so you want to see the one that I pulled, pulled out? Yeah, let me do, let me do the Modena and then, um, Candy, did you mean, um, the one that I have right here, the straight up with the twist elite, that's the one that I have. Can I show the style of sun-kissed almond? Yes. So this is the Modena and I've got her in mocha maple brown. This is the center part wig from the city collection. This is the only one thus far. I mean, they might come out with more that are center part. I'm not sure. I mean, I would hope so. I really like the center parts. I find them to be easier to wear because you can take bangs down and put them to the side if you want like like so or you can have them up out the face like I just had by simply going like this and brushing them away from the face and then I've got the the shattered curls I can show the sun-kissed almond here's that the hand tied get well soon Tammy says Dominica Bell trust hand tied wig, please. Oh, okay. Any of them, Darwin or Candy? Excuse me. Shirley, will you be on tomorrow night? Says Andy. Allison, she wants to see if it can go on a ponytail. Oh, okay, here we go. Yes, it can go on a ponytail. I can tell you that from right, right here. But I will do it once I get. Yes. She can go in a low pony. There's definitely enough there. You could probably bring it up just a little bit more. Yes. Can you do a low pony with it? Yes. I can see if I can do it a little bit more. Oh, Candy, which which hand tied one from Beltress specifically? Is there a certain style or do you not care? Do you like long, short? Because I've got them all right here, whichever one you'd like to see. Beautiful, sister, and thank you even pull her back like that and put her in like a little bun even though it's like super tiny <laughs> you can still put it all the way you can because of how good the fibers are they want to like stick together so you can have where you pull it back like that for sure you almost looked like Belle there 
for a minute. I, yeah, that's what I thought. It looks like Belle from Beauty and the Beast with the way that it, there's like the um, volume in the front here. Yep. Yeah, so you could like totally put it up and like a little bit higher also. You're very welcome, Anne. I missed what Allison said, but one of us will be live. Yes. Yeah, one of us will be live. I what here's here's what the plan was. I think it was Andy who asked. Was it Andy? Yeah, it was Andy. So the plan is that tomorrow I will try. I'm gonna bring some of these wigs to the hospital when I go see my mom. The plan is is that you like this one, uh, Candy. This one, the color of it is the mocha maple brown, and this is on the style Medina. But I was gonna bring some of these wigs and do a live for my mom's um hospital, assuming that the Wi-Fi will allow it. Um, that's the plan. And I guess I will surely needs to plan to have wigs out just in case I can't do it because that way you guys can have somebody who's live. But that's that's the plan. Even if we have to do it from the waiting room again, mom. <laughs> <laughs> they can just get over themselves. We're talking. <laughs> okay. So yes, that's that's the plan so far. And then you can just tell me which wigs you want to try on, though, and I can get them packed up to bring them, because I'm probably put them in the Ziploc bag again, so that they're okay. easier to carry, but keep them separate sort of thing. A uh, sun-kissed almond for Eileen. Let's see. Uh, there was only one in that. That was this one. This is the color sun-kissed almond, and this is in the style Veneta. This is the Lux hand-tied um, cap, so this is a Lux one. As you can see, it's got full monofilament, and it has the silicone ear tabs that go with a lace tab, a lace that goes ear to ear. It is fully hand tied, except for this one part right here. You can see the wefting that's sewn onto the cap, but you can still see my finger through even the wefting because the cap is the same from the hand tied down here. So this is Veneta in sun kissed almond. She's a cutie. Just get this out of the way. Which one is this? This this one, Missy, is Veneta. Yeah, this is Veneta in Sun Kissed Almond. Yeah, that looks pretty too. Yeah, you like this one too? Yeah, no, she's she's super pretty and really easy to let's see if I can just Come in here and switch her part. She wants to have a little bump of volume there just right off the bat, huh? Oh, well, that's cute. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, no, that's a pretty style. You're very welcome, Missy. So there she is, Miss Vanetta, and this was in Eileen wanted to see her in Sunkissed Almond. Beautiful, thank you. I usually wear brown sugar sweet cream. Yes, this this is one of the colors that is very close to brown sugar sweet cream. The other one is toasted um, toasted walnut. This one is also similar to brown sugar sweet cream. Um, the sun kissed almond ends up having a bit more blonde, and you can see that they are quite similar. See even my mom. So there you go. See, they're similar in color. If you like the um, brown sugar sweet cream. This one will have more of like the blonde that's mixed through, except it'll look more blonde in comparison to a brown sugar sweet cream. This one is kind of similar. It's just more chunky and it ends up being where um, it's not as heavily blended as the brown sugar sweet cream and there's tends to be a little bit more brown to this. So there's not one that's quite in the middle because that would be like a brown sugar sweet cream. Very pretty, says Carol. Thank you. Alrighty. So is there anything else that anyone would like to see? Let's see if my James is dried. Not yet. In case we don't get to see Shirley tomorrow, happy birthday on Monday, 311. Yes, happy birthday, Miss Shirley. Happy early birthday. Happy early birthday. Yeah. <laughs> she says happy up. Happy early birthday. <laughs> All right. 
Let's see, is there any more requests at all? She, you stayed and watched the whole, the whole live with me. <laughs> was it fun from there? Yeah, it was. Okay, good. Yeah, it's just like watching you on TV, but, you know. Well, I know your Wi-Fi is not good. That's why I did the phone call. You know. Yeah. Happy early birthday, says Donna. Happy birthday, says Luann. Happy early birthday, says Shirley. Thank you for a great wig party, Allison. Good night to you and your family. Thank you, Julia. Fontaine again? Sure, Donna. Yes, I've got, this is Fontaine, and I've got her in the pumpkin spice. Yeah, pumpkin pie spice. So she's a nice red color. Thanks again, Allison. Have a good night. Thank you, Margaret. Happy early birthday. Here is the beautiful Fontaine. What color was that you had on, dear? Uh, candy, that was the last one. It was the sun-kissed almond. That was the last one. I had her on uh, Veneta, right? Yes, that was the last one. Yes, uh, Candy, it was sun-kissed almond in Veneta, and now this one right here is Fontaine, and this is in the pumpkin spice, pumpkin, yeah, pumpkin pie spice R. I don't know why it was like, it's like a tongue twister. Shirley says, are you kidding? I'll be live to celebrate my birthday with you all. Oh, yay. We get to have a live on Monday with Shirley. Love that color. So pretty on you. Oh, thank you, Donna. Have a good night, Allison and Tammy, says Andy. Oh, my husband is literally losing his mind over here. But everyone look at that. Look at his, all of his emojis. How are pumpkin spice or sienna spice and pumpkin different? Okay, yeah. So I can tell you that with my eyes closed, Missy, because I really love all the red colors. So this one here is actually significantly closer. The pumpkin pie spice is super close to the Raquel Welsh uh, pumpkin iced pumpkin spice color. This is the sienna spice. So sienna spice is a more natural sort of strawberry blonde that you would expect with a coppery sort of natural ginger color. It is also not rooted. While this one is rooted, you can see here's the difference in colors. You can see from further away in case the light might be acting up. This is the difference. There is the difference in the colors. So the pumpkin pie spice is definitely richer. And this one right here is, I like this one because I feel like it really goes well with my skin, skin tone in particular because I'm so fair. Um, not that this one looks bad or anything. I just also like the fact that this one does not have a root. Thank you for the great well, party. Awesome, you? you what? I bet it's pretty. I like that on you, but I look, think you look good in reds anyway. Right. I know. You like the reds too. Thank you. Thank you for the great party. Hugs and prayers. Good night. Thank you, Luann. I'll bring the cake, says Andy. Thank you, Allison. Sweet dreams. Tammy says Ruby. How cute, says Leanne. Oh, they're saying it's so funny that he's supportive. Thank you. You're very welcome, Missy. Thank you for a great live, as always, Eric, Allison. Prayers and love to Tammy. Everyone, good night, says Marlene. I have one of their short city collection wigs in the Sienna Spice, and I was really nervous about no rooting, but it's quite lovely. I think it looks very natural. Donna, um, I just, here, I will change out because it was actually one of my favorite colors. Now all they have to do is make one that's like super long and straight like the Stella, but in a red like like this one and it'd be bingo bango perfect. I'll just need like 500 for the rest of my life. <laughs> is that all? <laughs> is that all? Yeah. Alright, so there's what she looks like in a nice unrooted blonde or er, red. A very natural red, I think. It looks extremely um, like a natural redhead, think like Bryce Dallas Howard or Jessica Chastain, that sort of natural redhead that's kind of like a strawberry blonde. Bingo Bango is right, says Donna. <laughs> Everyone likes all my weird, like, like verbal euphemisms. When I watch the, the replay, will I have some idea of what the sales are? Andy, all of the sales are on Shirley's website right now. There wasn't like a, like, spatic, as Jesus, um, particular, as I'm trying to say specific and particular all at the same time. Um, so they're like 40% off of the Lux if you buy them from in stock, and then it is 35% off if you buy them from Beltress. 
Sigh. Oh, you love this one too. You love this. <laughs> What's this like candy? This one is the Milano and this is in the Sienna Spice. So this one's a nice long kind of like beach wave. Okay, thanks, Sis Andy. You're very welcome. All right. So I will go ahead and probably get off now. And I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. I'm hoping the hospital will be able to manage with the Wi-Fi. So, Mom, I'm gonna sign. I'm gonna sign off for them. Okay. Yep. Do you want to say bye? Oops. Where am I? You're right there. <laughs> All right. Go say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> it's like a toddler with a phone. You're like this. Or it's only your the top of your head. All right, love you. I'll call. Wait a minute, here I am. Yeah, there she there is. Bye-bye, so, ladies. <laughs> I'll figure it out soon enough. <laughs> All right, love you. Love you. All right, let me sign off with them. So thank you, Tammy, for being here with us. I'm sure it's not the easiest thing to do. I hope we were able to bring you some fun. We love you, says Shirley. Have a good night. Hugs Lots and kisses to you both, says Donna. You guys are so funny, says Donna. What'd you say? To Shirley? I said, you are so, so fun. That I, that, so I hope you brought me some fun. You did. Yes, because Shirley. Four walls disputes that. Yes, my mom says that she had a lot of fun, actually, because she's kind of bored of looking at the same four walls in the hospital room. So, yeah. Hope to see you tonight, or see you tomorrow. Night, everyone, says Anne. Nighty night, Tammy. Do what the nurses tell you. LOL. Good night. Thank you, prayers. Thank You're very you. welcome. Candy. You guys are so funny. Have a good night. Thank you. All right. Good night, ladies. I love you all. And hopefully the hospital Wi-Fi will be able to support it. And I will see you tomorrow. Uh, the the, the um, time might be different. So it might just kind of be a spur of the moment sort of thing to be able to facilitate it. So I will keep you guys posted as well as I can, de depending on everything. So I love you guys. And I will see you guys. I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. Mwah.